So we decided to drive 17 hours to go to Canada one weekend. And this is what happened. We get in the car to start driving to Canada. Actually, Emily drives through the night. Yes, it was she was me. very kind. I drove the whole night. She decided to drive. This is a college student's way of feeding ourselves. Wait, but when we got into Banff, we had just drove 17 hours and we were so excited to be out of the car. And then the place that we're wanting to go, we find out, is like another hour oh, right. away. <laughs> and it was awful. We had to drive for so long. Yeah, that was a very long drive. Banff is huge. If you ever go there, make sure to spend a week there. Number one goal of this whole trip, though, was to see a moose or a bear. <laughs> and we saw a bear! We didn't see wait, a wait, moose. we're not to that part yet, though. <laughs> um, well, I have a love for cookies and people. Mainly Sophia. Day two, hike three. Woo, let's go! Uh, unfortunately, this trip was with a bunch of people that loved to hike, and I was kind of nervous. I was like trying to prep myself of what I was going to say so that I could stay in the car while they <laughs> went on a hike. Luckily, though, we found a short one that was flat. No, it wasn't short. It was nine oh, miles, right. but it was all <laughs> flat for the most part. Then we got another bad night's rest. It was better than the car, but still not good. But Alexis good. and I were sharing a twin bed, so that was... <laughs> A little bit rough. And there was a baby right next to me. <laughs> the next room. Okay. The next room over, yes. Middle of nowhere, gas stop number seven. We're in Montana, about to hike Grisha National Park. So I have come to the conclusion that Canada is indeed a beautiful place.